Events on Friday are bringing the debate over gun control to the forefront around the country as well as here in mid-Michigan. Senate Bill 59 is headed to Governor Snyder's desk. It's an amendment of our current concealed carry law. But as Anthony Sabell reports, many people are blaming the shooting on more than just firearms. It's just horror. Everybody's broken hearted. Doug Carl has been the owner of Total Firearms in Mason for 29 years. Like most, Carl says he was devastated when he heard that 26 people were shot and killed Friday in a Connecticut elementary school, including 20 students. It's just a sick individual that's just tore the guts out of this country. But while many people are calling for more gun control, Carl says legislation banning the ability to carry a concealed weapon wouldn't do anything to help. It makes absolutely no sense. It's strictly feel-good legislation. It's going to do zero amount of good. If somebody who would have been there with a firearm, there may be far fewer bodies coming out of that school. Robert Bianchi, a Cooley Law School student, agrees with Carl. In fact, he thinks it has less to do with guns and more to do with mental health. In the end, I just think it, it just comes down to intent. You know, there's going to be people out there who want to hurt others and, and kill other people. And whether it's a gun, a knife, a bomb, whatever, they're going to find the means to do whatever they need to do to carry it out. Carl also blames shootings like this on the constant media attention they get. They get their name in the news. That's how they want to go out in a blaze of glory. They go crazy. They don't care. No matter what the reason behind these incidents, Robert Bianchi says he's curious to see where the debate on gun control goes from here. There's good points on both sides of the issue, and hopefully we'll meet somewhere in the middle. Anthony Sabella, Fox 47 News. Many gun shops around the country are reporting a jump in sales this weekend since the shooting happened. Locally, we've found while the interest in guns has gone up, the overall sale numbers have not changed much. In the, if Senate Bill 59 is signed into law, however, concealed pistol license holders who get eight hours of extra training will be allowed to carry weapons in schools and other once forbidden places like churches, daycare centers, and stadiums. Governor Snyder says he will consider the Connecticut school shooting when deciding whether to sign or veto that bill.